name is going on in the ACC. Well, not exactly December 21st, 2012, but we're talking about parity. We're talking about competitiveness, not mediocrity. We're talking about a conference here where road wins are so hard to come by. And what you need, certainly, is to be able to hold your home court. NC State was able to do that against a very good Duke team. But when you talk about long run, you're also talking about experience. And you look at a team like Maryland with three seniors. This is the kind of team in pressure-packed situations down the stretch, utilizing that experience, should have a good time in this league. Your star watch, a rising star, and somebody who's already been there. Well, the rising star is Tracy Smith. 23 points, 10 and 12 from the field against Duke, as we saw, and a guy that his name is very familiar to folks, Grievous Vasquez in his senior year, he's carried Maryland probably since the day he's been here. Here's the starting lineup first for North Carolina State, Gonzalez and DeGand in the backcourt, Wood the freshman along with Smith and Horner up front, Sidney Lowe now in his fourth year as the head coach, has his team one game under 500 in the ACC. For Maryland, three guard lineup, Hayes, Mosley, and Vasquez in the backcourt. Milborn and the freshman Williams, who has helped them rebound so much. And Gary Williams, now in his 21st year as Maryland's head coach for his career. This is game number 1,000, a milestone indeed. State controls the opening tip. Maryland starts out in man to man, and one of the factors for NC State's success, particularly against Duke, is starting two point guards. They can, as well as Gonzalez, two guys who can handle the pressure, handle the ball, create for other people. Shot clock on the first possession, down to 10. Gonzalez trying to penetrate, runner short. Tipped out, he'll get it back in a fresh 35. They're always trying to get the ball inside the Smith. And rightly so. He's been knocking it down from inside. But there you see a nice long shot. Opening up the defense a little bit by DeGan. DeGan hits a three. He's a 37% long-range shooter. They made him the shooting guard the last three ball games he has started. This is his fourth in a row. And he has been hot as a shooter. Almost 12 points a game. He came into this program as a point guard. He still has point guard instincts, but he's been called upon now to be a little more assertive. Not only knock down some of the shots and get to the basket. No more. Doesn't get the roll in corner with a rebound for State. This is Gonzalez. Wood, the young freshman. You know, talking to Sidney Lowe yesterday at their practice, you know, despite the fact that this team averages about 72 points a game, they like to run. You know, they've won two out of their last three. They've averaged about 88 points a game in the wins against Duke and Florida State. And overall, they're 4-0 when they're scoring 80 or more points. So this is a team that wants to run. Maryland's defense, though, was certainly slowing down in the half court. Get them thinking about trying to execute. Jerry Williams always able to ratchet up pressure. That time, Gonzalez had to fire from way outside, and it's a shot clock violation. And there you see the class breakdown. It is a very young ball club, and Sidney Lowe has his people in place for the first time. Vasquez on the run. Good pass. Mosley with a follow. Got it in the foul. Jordan Williams couldn't get the basket, but they do get the foul. Well, we're talking about NC State wants to run, but Maryland's the team that loves to get out on the break. Turnovers and rebounds, they're going to kick it out. And Sean Mosley is so much improved. Raised his scoring average about seven points. He's averaging about 13 a game, but it's his accuracy. Last year, I mean, we were puzzled. Sometimes he couldn't make layups. Yeah. Young man shooting 61% from the field. He's doing an outstanding job from the line at 80%. He's in the top 10 in the ACC in free throw shooting, and it allows Maryland to set up that full court person defense and NC State has to burn a timeout. Only two minutes and two seconds into the game. It's 3-3.